Well, we're look, we had a pretty nice start to the fall season this afternoon. We saw highs in the upper 60s, around average for this time of year. We had mostly sunny skies with upper level clouds streaming through, and this led to some good sunsets, like this one out at Otter Tail Lake, sent to us by Lindis. Thank you so much for sending us this photo. We highly appreciate uh, those kinds of photos. As always, go to valleynewslive.com if you want to send more photos like that away. Uh, looking clear now as the weather can behind me shows and we will stay dry overnight, although we will see an increase in cloud cover and then we're looking at some more rain showers on Monday evening, tomorrow evening. Another round of summer warmth uh, returns this Wednesday, followed by mild conditions as we transition into early October. So what's going on? Currently seeing a cool, crisp 42 in Bemidji, 47 in Park Rapids. Otherwise, the rest of our region being in the mid 50s. So it's mild outside as we head into the overnight hours. High pressure keeping the northern plains clear and dry as a dry, stable air mass sits on top of us. However, we do have some moisture building in from the northwest, which is where we have upper level clouds streaming through, and those clouds are connected to this area of low pressure right here, which the area of low pressure will sweep in tomorrow evening, giving us some scattered showers in the process. There will be some dry air lingering in our region during the evening hours, though, so not much rain is expected to make its way towards the surface. Let's go over what I mean by that. Overnight, again, upper level clouds streaming in from the northwest, so by Monday morning, skies will be a little bit on the hazy side thanks to those upper level clouds, but will stay dry during the morning commute, so expect a quiet one. Winds will increase, shifting in from the south, gusting up to 30 miles per hour as we head into the afternoon hours. Around 4 to 5 o'clock, a line of showers will push into the Devil's Lake Basin and the western half of the James River Valley, crossing into the Red River Valley around 8 to 9 o'clock, moving into eastern lakes country by around 11 p.m. to midnight. So basically, for the next uh, between 4 p.m. and midnight, expect a chance of rain in our region. It's not until about 2 a.m. that any leftover showers are done, and we will see clearing skies by Tuesday morning. Uh, so how much rain are we expecting? Not much, probably trace amounts to a tenth of an inch across the region at most. A couple areas may see a little more than that, depending how strong those showers are. But again, most of us will stay uh, dry. And thereafter, the rest of the work week looking rain free. It's not until next week that we get our next opportunity for some rain. One other thing we're looking at is temperatures. So Monday afternoon back in the 70s, as indicated by the orange color, a brief cool down on Tuesday, but Wednesday, Thursday, and then on Friday, we're back in the orange across North Dakota and Minnesota. And that implies temperatures at least in the 70s. Some areas, though, will get into the 80s. So looking at our 11 day forecast, high of 83 possible on Thursday. Once again, feeling like summertime, then we're back to feeling like fall as we head into early October. Now, Joseph, you're delivering right now. Temperatures are great. I know we got a little rain tomorrow, but yeah. Temperatures 80s this time of year, really good. Yeah, it is certainly feeling like a second summer. Yeah, definitely go out and enjoy the nice weather. Awesome, thanks, Joseph. Well, after the break, a walk was held for suicide awareness. Here's stories. From